Hey, welcome back to Base Squared. On this channel, we simplify educational tech. Today's video, I'm going to show you the latest update of Keynote version 11. Let's go ahead and jump into version 11. This is, uh, right, I'm just going to select a presentation here. I'm going to show you a couple of things um, with version 11 here. So let's just go down and check this out. So what's new? Precise editing controls in the Arrange Inspector for adjusting the look and placement of objects. So for example, if I click on this here, this is just a, a picture. And if I go to Edit, and I go to Arrange the last uh, tab here at the end, what I can do is I can change the height and width of this, but I can make it as precise. Look, I can make it very, very precise. So I can change this to, let's just say 700. Uh, press on enter. There you go. Look, it's changed to 700. Now I can also uh, take off the constraint proportions. So if I change this now to 700, if I change it uh, to another value, okay, uh, it's going to change just the width and not the height. Okay, so let's just actually go back, leave it to what it was originally like that. Also, there's another thing here, on-screen keypad, you just saw it there, the on-screen keypad for entering exact values for text, for spacing, for table spacing, and so on and so, and so forth. So I could click on um, this text here. Let's go ahead and select this text. And if I go to edit again, instead of like pressing the plus and the minus to adjust the font size, I can actually click on uh, the number to get a keypad and from this keypad now I can just go ahead and select whatever number I want to select so maybe I want this to be I don't know 48 press on enter it makes it to 48 okay or I can make it whatever 93 or whatever there you go so you can now actually precisely adjust the size of fonts instead of previously having to like click on each one what I, what I used to do actually was go to paragraph style and just select it from here and that was just long and cumbersome I'm actually really glad that what they've done now is you can just quickly just go here and you know type in any number you want 96 for example and boom it's there it's done you can also uh, with the finger as well with the um, table you can insert so if I select this table here yeah, select the whole table and then if I go to format okay edit uh, I can change the format here with the table so for example number of rows and number of columns I can go and precisely adjust this I can say hey I want I want 12 okay 12 rows and with columns I only want let's say six columns okay six columns okay what else is new the ability to add and remove objects or table cells from a selection by tapping and dragging so look um, since we've got the Apple magic keyboard and we've got um, mouse and trackpad support we've got a mouse and a trackpad support okay what we can do is we can actually just click and drag anyway like that look we can select everything here and then if we want to get if we don't want to select uh, an item if I press shift and click on an item here I can deselect it and now look I can move whatever I want to move I can delete it do whatever I want to do with it the new thing is also if I select object if I go ahead and press select object it says now that I can select or deselect an object by tapping it and I can tap on multiple as well so if I just go ahead and tap on multiple I can you know uh, select those I can also do this yeah so if I select objects I can just drag across objects like that and then maybe I want to tap on this star I don't want that star so I tap on that star now look I can move everything except that star okay so that's one thing that's another uh, sort of key update that's happened uh, what else in the settings you this presentation could I just press on done here so this presentation very quickly you can when you open up a presentation you can open it up by default in editing mode so let me show you how to do that if you click on these three dots here and then go down to settings and then from here you go to editing and here I've selected uh, open and edit view by default normally you don't have the option it's just it doesn't open in, uh, in editing mode now you can have this option is available on uh, not only keynotes or also with the, uh, on the other two as well the other two i'm talking about is iWorks i'm talking about pages and numbers so that's these updates are across the board the last last one here it says you can um that have the ability to add a phone number in the links so here i've got let me just remove this I'm going to remove this link and I'll show you what you can do. So if I right click this link here, I can go to link and then you can normally just link it to a slide. 
What I can do in addition to just link it to a slide, I can link it to a number. So if I click on this slide here, I can enter a number here, phone number. If I just enter Jeff's phone number, whatever that is, and then now that's that's done, okay? So check this out. If I go ahead and play this, if I click on Jeff, it says, hey, do you want to call Jeff? Uh, and I can go ahead and call Jeff. So I'm just going to cancel that. There are a couple of other features updates as well that were in the previous version. If I just go down to what's new, you can see this on Apple support.apple.com. So the scribble feature was available. I've turned off scribble, to be honest, um, but you can turn it on. You can scribble. You can use scribble to write handwritten notes uh, with an Apple Pencil that will convert into text automatically. To do that, you need to turn on scribble from uh, your settings. So just go to your settings and type in pencil here. Okay. A select on pencil. And then down here, you've got scribble. You can turn on scribble. Once you've turned on scribble, you can actually uh, use scribble. Let me go quickly show you that. Okay, so if I just try it here, bid squid. See that? Brilliant, isn't it? It is brilliant, but since I've got that magic keyboard, I'm not scribbling with the Apple Pencil. I'm just, um, I'm using the keyboard to be fair. So I'll put that back there. So th there is scribble. And then what other features were available in 10.2? 10.2, oh, the overview. I, I want to show you the overview view. So check this out. If you've got a really long, uh, presentation the overview is really good so let's go back to this here so uh, if i come out of all of this nonsense and i click on the presentation master so click on the presentation master master view and then from here you can go to outline what's good about the outline is if you've got a whole bunch of um, slides you get a thumbnail of the slides and you also get um, a place where you can title each slide what's good about this is it just makes organization a breeze yeah and also, if I select, um, let's say I click on these three dots and I select this, then I can actually move, uh, you know, where I want it to be. So I can go ahead and just move this, drag this around, and it will move that slide as well. I can always do Command, uh, Command Z, and it will undo what I've just done. Okay. In addition to that, this is a uh, so, so that's 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 the new one in ten point two. You've got slide view, uh, which is just the normal slide view, and then you've got a light table, which is uh, a thumb, uh, just a thumbnail of all your slides. Uh, in addition to that, you also have the presentation notes, presenter notes. I like to have just a slide view without the presenter notes, and that gives me the most real estate to play with here. If you're using an iPad or a Mac or even a, a an iPhone, then give Keynotes a try. It's a really stellar app. Consider subscribing, and as always, I'll see you in the next one.